Hey guys, Omar here again. Uh, today we are reviewing the King's Awning 2 by 2.5 meter. Um, I got it from the four wheel drive super center at the end of financial year sale um, with the mounting brackets for around $100. So not a bad deal for this awning. Uh, I'm gonna put it on my four wheel drive, which is a Mitsubishi Pajero. Now, most people um, I've seen mount it on a roof um, bracket or a tray, um, but I've got roof rails so, uh, or crossbar, so, but I believe it should work well with the crossbars as well. I've seen people do it online. So, so we'll just go ahead, unbox it, see what's inside, and, uh, and then get on with the installation. Okay guys, so we've um, unboxed both the awning and the mounting bracket set and this is what you find inside. I have to say it's uh, neatly packed um, with a plastic wrapper um, around the actual awning which I've just put back in the car. Uh, it comes with a manual with clear instructions. Uh, this is what comes out of the mounting bracket box. Um, these two brackets, they go onto their um, roof rack or to the crossbars in my case. And those are the bolts that you use to attach um, the brackets to the crossbar and to the awning itself. So these are the particular instructions for the crossbars. Uh, fairly simple, straightforward. So we'll just go ahead. Um, apparently what we are supposed to do with the brackets um, is to mount them on the crossbars. Like this. You just got to align it and hang on, I'll just get on top, make it a bit easier to see. Yep, so you just sort of align it just here in the center, um, make a couple of punches, uh, then drill the bolts in. Um, it does have a space over it, um, just to cover for that sort of difference in level between this plastic um, edge and the metal. So it will become clearer once we install it. So we install one on each side, um, they recommended drilling the nearest and the farthest hole for stability which i think is a good idea um, and then you're supposed to um, screw these with the actual awning bracket so we'll just go ahead attach these two first and go from there hey guys summer again so we just had to move the um, awning to the following day because it was getting late in the evening and the sun's coming down early in these winter days so as you can see, um, I've done the brackets. Um, so the L-shaped brackets on both the roof crossbars have been installed. Um, the way my roof rack or my crossbars are set up, I had to do them on the first two holes only. Um, and it's pretty sturdy, like it's not moving anywhere. So I think that should be enough. So they're done on both the ends. Um, now the next step is fairly straightforward. And what you need to do is, I've got the awning here. Just flip it around. So what you need to do is uh, slide these screws in here and have the screws in that little section here. Uh, and uh, with the screws being there, you just got to slide it um, in these little holes here and then just tighten the bolts up. So yes, yeah, so you got to do it on both the ends. It helps if you've got someone else to help you, uh, but you can do it on your own as well. So I'll just set up and do that, and then we'll resume from there. Okay guys, so the awning is done. Um, you can see it's been mounted up on the crossbars. Uh, I'll just show you quickly as to how it's... So as you can see, um, the two nuts that slide into the railing, um, actually I should mention that. You can you can put it um, wherever is sort of more suitable and more uh, stable in relation to your crossbars. So, but anyway, the two the two bolts that slide in here they go into these two holes in the yellow in the L bracket. And then you just put the nuts in. It 
helps to have another person help you. Um, so you can do it um, a lot quicker and comfortably than you can do it yourself as well. But yeah, push this in, uh, tighten the nuts, do it on both sides, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we're just going to have a quick look at the awning and, uh, and try and set it up. Okay, guys, so next step is to set up this awning. So just move the zip all the way to the other side. It helps to have the zip um, on the end because when you're driving, you don't want to hear the jingling from the zip. So just when you close it, just have the zips all the way over there. Okay, so you find there's three straps. Undo the straps on the sides first, just to have a bit of support from the middle still. Undo this one, and undo the one on this side. Take it out, and undo the middle one. And you undo the middle one, um, the awning should just come down. Now, before you move the awning much further, uh, you should probably take these bars out. So have one on this side. Because once you've rolled it out and you're by yourself, uh, then you have trouble moving these bars out. So move these up all the way, and then it's just fairly straightforward. You just roll the awning out. Down here, you'll just have to move these two little um, rods out as well. They're the two stands that go down to the ground. It's a little bit awkward if you're by yourself and it's windy, but quite doable. Move this one. Move the other one. Okay, so that's that's basically it. Um, these two tubes that support the sides. Uh, you have these little Velcro straps here that awning on uh, nice and secure. These two rows they go at the bottom and uh, there you go. Fairly straightforward, nice awning, uh, provides you with a bit of shade and uh, yeah to reverse it is fairly simple you just do the opposite of these steps. Under the velcro straps first, take these two out from the ends, pull these two up, move them back, roll it up and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like it please like and subscribe.